Now at 4.30, a family's close call after discovering a mountain lion trapped inside their chicken coop. This is the latest in a string of mountain lion sightings across Southern California. NBC4's Kim Tobin is live in Simi Valley where she spoke with the homeowner, Kim. And Carolyn, this family has lived off of Rambling Road here in Simi Valley for about 30 years, and they've never had that face-to-face -face encounter with a mountain lion before. They say it was all fascinating and terrifying watching those wildlife workers trap and tranquilize this cat. I stood at the gate and said, oh, God, look at this carnage. Look at a mess. And I thought, oh, the raccoons did get in here. But it wasn't raccoons that got inside Phil Callen's chicken coop Sunday morning, killing four chickens. It was a mountain lion. Until I did this. That sound alerted the cat, and she came out from behind the covered area, coming face to face with Callan and his yeah. dog Fiona. I started doing everything wrong. When they say back away, keep eye contact, I did none of that. I turned around, I was very loud, I bent over and picked up the Jack Russell and started running from her. But the mountain lion was trapped inside the coop after pushing through the fencing to get in. This stuff had been all peeled away and she had just pushed that fencing in. She came through again. It's, it's made for chickens, not for mountain lions. Callan called 911 and Fish and Wildlife. It took hours to surround the cat and try to shoot her with a tranquilizer as she hid behind the covering. He stuck the, the air pistol through to be able to get a shot of her. The crew was finally able to sedate the cat and pull her out of the coop. The female is about two years old, weighing 85 pounds. The National Park Service tells us this mountain lion is tagged and is one of four cubs from a litter discovered in the Simi Hills in June 2018. Officials say she's now been relocated and shouldn't be coming back for another visit to the Callan's backyard. I really didn't think it would come into my yard. I know that's a cliche, but I, this is my yard. Where did you come from? And it's really her yard as well. Well, the Callan family says this is about a six hour process. And they really want to commend fish and wildlife workers out here for keeping the whole situation calm, them calm, and their neighbors calm during this ordeal. And they hope this is a one time thing and they never have to go through this ever again. We're live in Simi Valley. Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.